basic kind of moving without the ball principles here. All right, there's some basic kind of concepts. You have to really teach your kids how to play without the basketball. All right, this is just going to make your lives a lot easier. This right here, coaches, turns into about 75% of high school basketball. All right, it turns in, that trickles all the way down and just gets a bigger percentage. I Meaning this situation, all right, Coach Andrew will be guarding him and I'm guarding him. This situation in basketball happens about 75% of the times and we fail miserably. All right, when he drives here, he never moves. I help, he passes, nothing got accomplished because we're not teaching kids how to move and play without the basketball. There's only one of them, right? So we have to know how to play without it well, okay? So in this situation, we're gonna go very slow on this, just some genetic, uh, some generics. If we're coming here this way, he's gonna go corner, okay? That's not a 10 out of 10 thing, pass the ball back. That could be a handoff if you wanted it to. All right, so you have to go either way, that's just fine, okay? If the ball ends up being here, he drives baseline, he is gonna end up going corner. Baseline drive, baseline drift, okay? Baseline drive, opposite side is gonna drift corner, okay? Strong side drive, he's gonna slide there. If Coach Andrew ends up being right here, okay, and Justin is driving at him with the ball, okay? He is gonna end up backing off the blocks, all right? And kind of going over right there. That's where he's gonna go. All right, so if he's driving at your post, your post is gonna have to separate a little bit because obviously the only person that's gonna help is Andrew's defender, drive again. So if I am guarding Coach Andrew here, he's driving the basketball, I'm the one that's gonna help, he's gotta give some space here. So he's gonna back off there, okay? If Coach Andrew's here on the post again, and you have the ball, and he's driving baseline, okay? Your post is gonna shape up in the middle right there. So he's driving underneath, he's gonna pocket pass to him. All right, so you see Tom would slide, he would go there. I'm about to show you how all this plugs into your bigger schemes of offense. But again, if you don't show them these basic slides, they're not gonna have a clue what to do after you run your quick hitter. And the big issue that you don't want, and you know that you have not taught them basketball, is if after you run your play, they do this. Set up. You didn't teach them how to play basketball. Because they should just be able to flow right into the next thing, into the next thing, into the next thing. So after your quick hitter, hey, I want the shot from here, doesn't work then they should know that I passed the ball here, I go screen there, I read the screen there, I curled that, I came back, I ripped back, he shaped up, I got the shot. You should never have to call setup, right? You should never have to do that unless you're into 10 seconds left in a game and you have to really get a good quick hitter. If you've really taught them how to play basketball, and that's the whole thing that we get in trouble with, all right, because Coach Cal came in and really popularized this whole read and react, and I'm all for it, no doubt about it. You have to know what to read, though, and what to react to. So you have to teach them these slides and where to go, okay? So please understand this one more time. You just be the shooter the whole time. Just be the shooter. If, Coach, if Justin's driving this way, Coach Andrew's going there, okay? That's one option, all right? Go back. If Coach Andrew catches the ball on the 45 and drives baseline, all right, Tom's got to get to the corner. That's the other slide, okay? If Coach Justin has the ball and Coach Andrew's on the block, Okay, he's driving at him. He's gonna end up spacing back. Now, he's gotta watch that shooter, right? So he can't go crazy. All right, he's just gotta come uh, get to the baseline. All right, if he ends up, Justin has the ball at the 45, all right? And he drives this way. Your post should end up shaping up this way. We should end up having a pocket pass, okay? If, all right, Justin has the ball at the top and Coach Andrew's in the corner. If he drives left and jump stops, He's gonna reverse out, he's gotta lift. So the whole thing about moving without the ball is you gotta stay in the, shoot, in the uh, ball handler's vision. All right, and you just have to teach your kids where to move, where to go, they just can't stand still. All right, you've gotta teach them where to go. You can break that down into any of these drills which we're about to do right now, okay? So the first one we're going, fellas, is pass, screen away, catch above the three, rip back, drive and kick. All right, now this involves screening, this involves communicating, this involves passing. This is what I'm saying, you have to get a lot accomplished in every single drill. This should then plug into your translation portion because this is what your beginning of your practice probably should kind of start looking like. Then when you get into translation, you should be able to take this into having five people on the court. V cut and let's go. There, call for it, sprint, sprint to screen, good, comes off, rip back, two dribbles, pass, good. Next group, let's go, 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 good. Good, let's go, get into a line, get into a line. Good, two, 
Pass it back, shot, let's go. So we're teaching spacing here. Everything's outside the three. We're never playing inside the three-point line. All right, they're driving to the second hash. Let's go, go. Good. Hold the ball, stop. Now, on average, right, these guys are doing fine, okay? But this isn't good enough. Right? They're not sprinting the screen, they're not talking loud enough, they're not setting up the screen, it's not body to body, they're not ripping, down, uh, ripping the ball fast enough. So this is what I'm saying where you have to hold your players accountable. You gotta tell them, hey guys, you can go faster than that, I suggest you start moving quicker than this. Now I want three people, put your ball down please, if we shouldn't have four basketballs, you should be in this line. Now you need to sprint on everything that you're doing. All right, now we should see a dramatic increase in their performance, go. Sprint, go, move. Yes, sprint, rip back, go. Next group, go, go, let's go. Good, go in, good. Yes, good, V-cut, let's go. Good, moving quickly, let's go. Good, rip back quick, good, let's go. V-cut, good, screen, yes, sprint. Good, rip back, yes, go, push, good. Yes, go, sprint. Good, stop, stop, good. All right, Max, you're up. Justin, you're up. Liam, you're up. All right, now we'll do this one. This is just a different one. Second people in line, back all the way off. All right, he's going to V-cut here, okay? He is going to catch the ball and rip baseline here, okay? And then he's going to retreat, dribble out. You're going to screen away. Now Liam is going to run all the way across here. All right, this happens in basketball a lot. We get the ball dead in the corner. We don't know what to do. He has to come in his vision, catch the ball, rip back. All right, listen, a rip back is extremely important, coaches. You guys get kids that all of a sudden catch the ball from this side to this side and come right back right-handed. All right, they have to attack the other side of the defense. Again, this is going to start plugging in when we start doing everything five on five. All right, you'll plug in, you'll go two dribbles, you'll slide away, throw the ball over Justin, he's got the shot. We got it? Here we go. Let's go, quickly. Yes, sprint, 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 good. Rip back, good. Let's go, go. Good, shoot it. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, good. Yes, rip back, good, let's go, 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 good, rip back, let's go, in, back out, quick, 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 good, rip back, go, let's go, get all the way over there, fellas, all the way over, Peter, don't pass it till he gets over there, don't pass it till he gets over there, good, there we go, let's go, 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 yes, sprint, Max, don't pass till he gets all the way over there, good, go, push back, yes, good, good, Stop. I mean, it's, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be pretty. But just having a basic general idea of like, hey, somebody comes at you, go over there. You don't have to get super, super, super detailed. Just don't stand here. Go right over there when somebody's driving at you. All right? That's the things that we need to start getting accomplished. Okay? Because some of you guys have the same team from next year to next year to next year. And then there should be some building going on from each one.